Yeah, it's supposed to be a Jeffrey Winehouse guy. Are you familiar with that guy, that name? Oh no, they're messing with him again. Yeah, maybe he learned uh, his lesson this time. I don't know. Oh great. Okay. Yeah, that's Franklin County. Uh, oh. And then who else wants to say a few words? I I could say I could speak for five minutes. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you can speak for longer than five minutes. I'll give it seven. <laughs> I don't know. I saw you in South Dakota. I'm not, yeah, I think it's speak longer. I like I'll speak. probably speak for just a couple of minutes. That's all right. Good. And maybe even uh, evil, you want to speak? Evil. No, because no, she'll get zapped. <laughs> oh, she'll get zapped. She'll get zapped. Oh, she'll get zapped. Depends on if she's recovered yet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I'll start right, my radio. Hold on, let me start my show. Sorry, it isn't any louder, but Gene, you're in charge of the sound system next time. Okay, we're rolling. All right. All right. Uh, hi, my name is Matt Thompson, and we're here in the in the bitter cold in Jefferson City, Missouri, on the grounds of the Capitol today to highlight the case of Jeff Winehouse. I'm a citizen. I'm a citizen and resident of the state of Missouri, and I had never heard of Jeff Winehouse until a filmmaker named Gavin Syme put it put it up on the internet. And uh, I got to uh, investigate what went on with Jeff Warnhouse. Since then, I visited Jeff in prison many, many times and become uh, great friends with Jeff. He's the, he's the greatest, most God-fearing person I know. Tremendously upbeat still after what's happened to him. And uh, I think it's important for the public, for the governor, and everyone to know what happened to Jeff Warnhouse Because this is a manifest injustice. And uh, this cannot be. If it can happen to him, it can happen to us. We are all Jeff Winehouse. Right. Yes, we are. Because we all have a God-given right to criticize our government, to stand up and air our grievances without fear of being shot and incarcerated for 30 years. Are they going to shoot all of us? For those of you that don't know, Jeff Winehouse was the bulletin man. For 16 years, he'd been printing bulletins in Franklin County, Missouri, and Crawford County, and other places surrounding there about what was going on in the community. People knew and trusted Jeff to tell him the truth. Jeff began investigating what he considered was possible criminal activity on behalf of the authorities. He was investigating the death, a suspicious death of a person named Kelly Brandt and others and he thought perhaps some of the local officials might have been involved. These same officials then began to harass Jeff. They, they called on his house. Agents of the Missouri Highway Patrol, acting outside their jurisdiction, showed up at Jeff's house. They said they were there to investigate marijuana, but they stole Jeff's computers with all of his bulletins so that he could no longer publish his bulletins. Then they set up an ambush. They told Jeff that he could get his computers back. Later testimony revealed they had no intention of ever giving Jeff his computers back. But they called him to this ambush. And Jeff showed up at the ambush. Later testimony, the officer that shot Jeff said he thought Jeff was talking on the phone to get a big force to come and fight them. Jeff did talk on the phone with his wife Valerie and he began to pray. He got a force bigger than that uh, state highway patrol officer had ever seen before on his side. Because he prayed to God and he said, God, whatever they're going to try to do to me, strike it down. Jeff was shot twice in the head, twice in the chest, and miraculously survived. He went to hospital. He was in the hospital for about a month. Incurred bills of well over $500,000. Was never arrested until the day he went out or two weeks after he got out of the hospital because the authorities didn't want to pay the hospital bill after they had attempted to murder Jeff. Yes, I'm saying right here today, Missouri State Highway Patrolman attempted to murder Jeff Winehouse. Sergeant Henry Mr. Folsom. Sergeant Henry Folsom. There's no doubt Your about it. Should not have any rights. Because Jeff had a spy watch. He had a Google watch on his left hand that recorded the whole incident. Sergeant Folsom later testified that the whole incident took about 10, 15 minutes, that he asked Jeff to sign these papers and that Jeff moved this way and he went that way and that he, he asked his partner to go back in the trunk and, and describe the process that took about 15 minutes. 
we know now from watching the spy watch video that the whole process took about 11 seconds. He said, Jeff, why are you carrying a gun? Jeff said, I don't know, why are you carrying a gun? He said, oh, I'm authorized to carry a gun. Well, I have news uh, for Mr. Folsom. We're all authorized to carry a gun. That's right. Here, here. Here, here. here. And then Sergeant Folsom shot Jeff four times. Uh, later, about 10 minutes later, if you watch this spy watch camera, Jeff had a parachute holster. He did have a gun, and Jeff told me, and the evidence has proved this to be the case, uh, the gun was holstered on his left hip, and it was cross-holstered. In, uh, in other words, it was, it was set in a position to draw from the right side, but the gun was in a parachute holster. This is a, a military-style holster designed for paratroopers. It, it's very difficult for the gun to come out of there. It takes two hands to get the gun out of there. The FBI agents that witnessed this testify they saw Jeff's right hand. He never went for any gun. He never moved his right hand. They saw it. It's been proven. If you watch Jeff's the spy watch uh, camera video, about 10 minutes in, other officers were showing up at the scene. One of them looks down on the ground and he sees this holster and he's looking at this holster on the ground and he says, is that a gun in there? Is that a gun in there? Whereas Sergeant Folsom testified that the gun was drawn. It wasn't. This is perjury. I say, uh, Governor, it looks like attempted murder. I think this man should be arrested. And this is a situation that must be remedied because it affects all of us. We must have the right to criticize our government or our entire system will fall down. Amen. And this, is the, the, this situation must be remedied. Jeff Winehouse must be released from jail and compensated for damages. It needed to be here, done here. yesterday. Yes. Yeah. You're here. Yes. No more. No, not one more day. Not Mr. one Wilson, more day. Not one You're more wrong. day. Not so any rights. Jeff has, uh, Jeff has filed, uh, since the new governor, uh, Parson, has been in office, Jeff has filed an official pardon application Three Jeff uh, right under the cause Manifest Injustice. This should be working the way its way to your desk, uh, Governor. As far as I know, the, the, the new Attorney General, Eric Smith, can stop this right now because there is a, there is a petition for habeas corpus in uh, the federal court in St. Louis. All the Attorney General would have to do, I'm not a lawyer, but I believe all the Attorney General would have to do would be to uh, file an amended brew, brief supporting Jeff Winehouse petition for, man of, for uh, habeas corpus. Get this good man out of jail and yes, do it now. Get this good man Thank out you. of jail and put those that belong behind bars behind bars. Uh, we have uh, uh, Evil Love here uh, representing Jeff Winehouse in jail. And to fully understand how this occurred with Jeff Warnhouse being convicted of a crime which did not exist. Because he is convicted of shooting the officers with a firearm. And uh, no one shot the officers that day. They're perfectly healthy. No firearm charged that stayed in the holster. And at the trial, Jeff Warnhouse was told he had the right to defend himself. But he was fitted with shot cuffs. I'm not kidding you. Shot cuffs. 80,000 volts. Mr. Winehouse, you have the right to defend yourself, but if you do so, we're going to hit you with 80,000 volts. I never pull my... I never pull... You get the idea. This happened in the state of Missouri, people. We're always told in the news about all these uh, injustices happening in Saudi Arabia or that. This happened. We have political prisoners right here in the state of Missouri. This is the show me state. And this is what we call... Justice. And you we know, can thank the prosecuting attorney, former prosecuting attorney, Robert Parks. Hey, he Parks. was in office way nah, too nah, long. Nah, nah. He needs to be nah, held accountable nah, nah, for nah. all of this. Hey, hey, hey. Robert Goodbye. Parks is the prosecuting attorney for uh, Franklin County, Missouri, who prosecuted Jeff. And uh, Robert Parks uh, was in on this from the get-go. He was communicating with these state officers who were acting outside of their jurisdiction and he signed the search warrant. The search warrant would have required the, the local sheriff to be involved, which he wasn't. So I believe it was an illegal search warrant. But he was in on this from the beginning. And the jury didn't see all the evidence, but Mr. Parks saw all the evidence. He knows that Jeff was innocent. 
and yet he convicted him anyway. And they wanted to get rid of Jeff because they said Jeff was a troublemaker. But getting rid of Jeff didn't stop the trouble. The trouble in Franklin County continued because Jeff was only reporting on it. And Robert Parks and a small cabal of people operating an informant program, and the informant program dealing drugs themselves, is still active in Franklin County. Yes, it is. We've seen in Columbia, Missouri, the same thing with the police department operated for over 20 years with the brothel and drug dispensary that they knew was operating and worked along with it for over 20 years under the guise of an informant program. Governor Parson, stop these informant programs and do it now. I'm gonna pass the mic around and uh, hear what, what anyone else has to say. First of all, I'd like to introduce uh, the famous world traveler, Roger Roots. I'm a, uh, I'm a rep, uh, let's get someone else to film my a little. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Let me just, uh, uh, basically, you hit the red, and when you see the red, it's filming. I see everybody's changing. I'm seeing each other. I'm being shot. Are you sure you're going with Jack? All right, say when. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Matt. That was great. Uh, Matt, I think, summarized the uh, Jeff Whitehouse uh, case very well. Uh, Jeff was denied almost every every right that, that any of us have to defend ourselves if we're ever uh, facing a uh, serious criminal prosecution. You know, a lot of people uh, are like me. We grow up and we're, we're taught that, uh, you know, the American Constitution and the American laws are there to protect us and that if we're ever uh, uh, charged uh, with a crime we didn't commit, all we have to do is come forward and show our evidence and show that we're innocent and that the rules of evidence and the, and the laws will allow us to do so. Uh, in fact, I can tell you, having uh, uh, been a lawyer and witness, uh, having witnessed uh, many big cases, high-profile cases over the years, um, that's not really the way it works most of the time. Uh, in fact, I can just tell you that in all the big cases that I'm familiar with, starting way back even in the Waco prosecutions, the Timothy McVeigh case, uh, the Randy Weaver case, uh, all these big cases, the biggest profile cases in American history, really the Bundy case, the Bundy cases in, uh, in uh, Oregon and Nevada, there were five trials. And I can tell you, I watched uh, those. Yeah. One of the reasons yeah. for the permit is so we don't have opposite groups on a subject arriving at the same time. So you, they feel like they're being taken over. I can over. appreciate you guys uh, so keeping the peace. We don't stop anybody from getting yeah. a permit. Like you said, as long as you don't. Like I'm the, sure it costs uh, money too, huh? You guys could have gotten a permit. It doesn't? Wow. It doesn't matter. Get our state of Missouri, give us something free. We have family forever. Do you want to fill up paperwork? Are they open right now? I, I was uh, in court just a few days ago in uh, North Las Vegas, uh, Nevada, and they were trying to deprivate my rights. They dropped all charges, and they were afraid, the judge was actually afraid, of being put in prison for the capital felony violation of which I am speaking of. Well, what I'm saying is there's yeah. people around to do this. You go get the permit, you can be here all day. And no, that's not an easier route. The yeah. easier route is to come on state property that we own. No. And our yeah, state. we pay taxes for the state capital, don't we? Two months out and ahead, not knowing the weather. This is not trespassing. No. And if we were being scare tacked anyway, or causing scare -tacked. trouble, or yeah. arguing with yeah. other yeah. people, yeah. and it's getting violent. No, it's free. It's that free, imagine that. Matter, but we're not. On that, and what I'm trying to explain to you is the rules on that. And the reason we do those rules is so that we can keep everybody safe. Yeah, but I'm trying to explain to you Title 18, U.S. Code 241 and 242, right. deprivation of rights under Colorado. Are you familiar with it? It is a very severe problem. I would state recommend state that you read that on your own when you get a moment. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That is color of law. That's opposed to the Constitution. I'm talking about from the Supreme Court of the United States. All you have to do is get a permit, and they'll give you one. Why? They don't stop anybody from speaking. Is this permit free? Look at Yes. The, the but it probably takes about right two there, years to that get. That person right no, it there. Take you two years to get. Your state trooper shot that guy. Me, 
Jesus. They deprived him of the right to live. Well, they tried to deprive him of the right to live. He survived. Well, they deprived him of the right to live. He's incarcerated for 30 years. He's incarcerated for 30 years. I can't argue that case. I wasn't there. I don't know. Well, we're telling you about it now. You want to take a good look what they did to him? Two shots in the head, two in the chest. He survived, and then they put him in prison because he's a, they call him a troublemaker because he's exposing Some corruption. Some bad guy shot my wife in the head and killed her, and I'm glad there are cops to get him off the road. I'm glad there are state troopers to arrest him. So we can argue this all day long. Right. Okay? That's what my wife looked like, over the hole in the back of her hand. But it wasn't done by a cop, was it? I was no that one was done by deprivating his rights. He was a blogger. He was a blogger. No, listen, he was a blogger. He was exposing corruption in all different levels of government. Okay. They came, they broke into his house. They stole his computers. Then they said, "We'll bring back your computers." And then they shot him. Pardon? You're gonna have to move on if you don't get a permit. Okay, I, I just wanted to explain this to you, and also this is all being recorded. This is going to this is going to go on YouTube. Right? Lie, lie. Okay, this is this is going to be public across the nation. That's only a part of the reason why we're here. Especially if you know this person. If you don't know this person, well, he's a constitutional patriot. That's what I care. About. It'll keep going on if we don't stand up for our rights. I understand that you're upset. I get that. That's my point. But if you get the permit. Then you can really get out here and tell everybody all day long and nobody will stop. Uh, uh, the, but, but, the case law all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court right. is very clear. Right. We have a right to protest. Do you want we have a right to I demonstrate. Say, officer, do you want to do that? We don't want to, we don't want to okay. cause any trouble. Okay, so and we, we hear what you're saying. Okay, so but, we're, but we should all, you guys should be working with us to restore the rule of law. You know, I want to work with you. That's because why I told you how to get a permit sure. to do it. Right. Okay. Here's the problem. Do you guys want to tell his story and get him... Not to be, not to be, uh, to get out of prison. Yes, I understand that. What well, time's the news station going to be, be here? Safely and on our ground. <laughs> Will they be arrested too if they I come said. here to do if news? If you get a permit, then you can do that. And so you huh? can either yeah. argue. Will the news station be arrested too if they come here to do news? Or you can get his yes, message get out. Permit. That's what I want. <laughs> so you're avoiding my question now. There is you're avoiding my question now. Just get what the state requires. Will the news, will the news people be arrested too? But what about what the Constitution requires? Yeah. Easiest way. We're actually here right. primarily for the Constitution and because he is a fellow supporter of the Constitution. He's a constitutionalist. He's on, he's all over the nation on YouTube and, and, and that kind of thing, okay? Alternate news media, you might say. And the, and the kind of shot him because he's exposing corruption in the government. Okay? That's what I'm saying. It, to me, it seems like a very small thing. To ask that you just go get the permit to come back. Uh, it's a very so small thing we to not intended being to be able to walk where we pay taxes. Much longer. But the, uh, the point is, the First like Amendment is our permit, and the case law is overwhelming. If you were to arrest us for trespassing, you could be sued right now. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's I've just been it. threatened by every guy I've arrested almost all the time, all my different jobs at different police departments about how they were going to sue me. We are not and, trespassing. Know, I know what the yeah. rules are and the laws are. I know that. It I sounds like you're not, you're, you're, you're Roger not, was you're not as clear. It sounds said. like you're not as clear on the right. laws. I right. think. I don't I think have you to should. be. All I have to know are what the rules are. The rules are that you've got to have a permit. But the and rules are colorful. That, That's a capital felony. Leave, then you're trespassing. We aren't even intending to be here. This we had only intended to get a permit. Yeah, check it out. Let me walk with you. Oh, it's fine. She told me we're here. Well, we'll get the permit. Yeah, we'll get the permit. Okay. Okay. Well, we're 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 okay. Well, we've got a right to we've got a right to be here without a government permit. Our permit is the First Amendment. We can we're going to go inside and march around and. Uh, go inside. Okay. Roger here was a supporting attorney on the uh, Bundy Ranch trials, both at Portland, Oregon, and he was in Nevada as well. Uh, of course, he, and he was actually, and he, and he, we were all acquitted <coughs> of all charges in, in those cases. Okay. Nobody's going to stop you from coming inside. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Know, Sorry, I got here. I got here late. This is my lieutenant. Okay. Uh, here's the deal. Okay. The way the way I'll do it. The way I see it. You guys aren't hurting anything. The reason they asked that you had the she's freezing. Man. <laughs> <laughs> they, the reason they had the permit set up is because after many years of doing this, 20 plus for me, we have had without permits. You'll have a group that will have um, one that comes to mind very clearly and very vividly is pro-life, and you have pro-choice. They reserved 
one of the groups, I don't remember which one, forgive me, reserved the front lawn. Well, we had the other group show up. Of course, that's quite a passionate deal there. And so we had this clash. And now I've got to come back and figure out, okay, now, how do I separate this to make it fair for everybody? That's why they require the permits. That's why they say, we need you to have a permit in order to do this. It's to cut down on any kind of um, so that, uh, issues that, just, that so would that, happen. That, that's the reason for the permit. Clearly, right. you can see that's not occurring here. There's no opposing force. There's no... But we can't. I can't remember that. And if I've got, if I can't tell you that there's not going to be another card that comes around the corner that says, I, I don't even know what we're what we're, we're doing. We don't want to get the permit because we don't a think we should have to. Required because because it'll, it'll come with conditions. Traffic, yeah. Putting up barriers, putting up a huge structure. We're not doing. We're, we're going by what the, what, what the Office of Administration has as far as its permit requirements. I'm trying to, I'm trying to deal with you guys if you, if you let me finish out because I'm not opposed to letting you guys stand here. I'm really not. I'll see how you could be. If well, you're in a law enforcement, you've got to allow the First Amendment uh, right of demonstration. They support this First Amendment. Assembly and I, I understand, sir. I'm, I'm being very respectful to you. I'm trying to explain to you, this is not our rule. This is the Office of Administration that is set forth from this building who has said this. All I'm telling you is... I cannot believe that a group of seven people, we've got three cops coming, and there's, what, eight people here, and we're having just a little peaceful, uh, little protest. You're taking this, you're taking this personally. I am not. I, I really am not. I'm not even, I just said... It doesn't matter to me if you stay here. I'm just explaining why the why there was a conversation. I can tell you why. The officer showed up because she heard there was a protest out here. Well, of course we have to send somebody to check on it. This is the first supervisor. This is his one. He's right up there. He's the first guy feeling we're going to be on it. We're not trying to say, hey, get off the lawn right now. I'm telling you, I don't care. I'm explaining to you the rules that we follow, which is that the Office of Information Administration, excuse me, requires for most of the time to have a permit. I can tell you this, too. Most of the time, if you call over there and say, hey, we're going to go to Fourth Capitol, and we're uh, doing a, a small gathering for this, they would probably come over and give you a permit and call us. I'm not even going to worry about that. As a matter of fact, the, the gentleman that was with you guys, I believe he's with y'all. Yeah. Went oh, up this, to the, here, went, no, went up to the governor's office. Oh, oh, yeah. Art, yeah. What's his name? Art, I'm sorry. Oh, Art. Art, okay. okay yeah. White white jacket. Yeah. 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 I just took him to the governor's office because when he got out of the elevator, he got confused where he was going. That's where I was headed to do my afternoon check-in. We're not the bad guys here. I'm just trying to explain to you and not to take it personally. It's the it's the way they've set it up to bitch. prevent flashing sides of things going. That's uh, all. I, that's all I'm saying. But Bob, I, I cannot don't. believe that here in the United States of America, we have a First Amendment right to speech, a press, peaceful assembly, to petition government for redress of grievances. And here we are, a group of seven people come out to complain against government, and we have set, uh, three cops armed with weapons and body armor okay. coming. To, to harass us. Okay, sir, it's, it's I have not once, not once, have I harassed you. Not once have I been anything but respectful. Not anything once more than just explaining to you why. I always felt that was the best way to handle things, is to come over and just explain explain our situation, the situation we're in. I agree full well. Like I said, I've been doing this for numerous years. I have nothing but the full respect for anybody that wants to have any freedom of speech without anything because I don't have a problem. I'm simply explaining to you as a group, as a whole. I am not asking you to leave. I am explaining to you why my officer leave. To say, hey, you know, OA is supposed to have, you're supposed to have a permit. I would have called OA myself and said, hey, can you come right one up? I'm not even going to do that. You know why? Because it's a Friday afternoon. You guys have a plan on being right. That's why, was, that's why I'm explaining. I'm, that's all I'm trying to do. Okay, I didn't get it. You didn't understand that. Yeah, you no, it's... You first just said that you're going to let us stay here for the little bit. And that's great. Yeah. And, 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 and we're not even arguing with you about 
like that. I think that Ryder and I are both on the same page on this. We're just trying to explain to you what the law, the D law is. Just so you know, the Supreme Court ruled that statutes and codes by states are not law. Okay, according to the Supreme Court, unless they're in pursuance of the Constitution. Right. That includes the First Amendment. Okay. So what you're what you're supporting here is color of law, and and I understand that you you know you get paid a paycheck. Your, your superiors tell you what how things got to be, and they set down rules. Okay. And you're trying to enforce. You're trying to keep those rules going. Yeah. We we do it to the. It's kind of like the way the way we look at it. To be honest, this has been upheld. This rule has been upheld through not by the Supreme Court. Through our courts. Through our courts here. Yeah. Because we've had the same. We've had that. And I said, our 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 standing point is, we come over. We say, you know, hey, you need to be issued a permit in order to do this. And if they don't, then the upper echelon says, okay, well, they either leave, they go to jail, whatever. And then we let the court sort it out. It's not right to judge if it's, you know, if if that's. I think we're all getting cold. We're about to take off. Well, I appreciate it. You know, like I said, gentlemen, don't ruin your life. My 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 only my only point is that you have rushed out on your own time. You've looked up Title 18 and Section 241 and 242, just so you know what it says. Oh, we got so that you realize that state statutes and codes are not law unless they're quote unquote in pursuance of the Constitution. Okay, and you can look that up in the Constitution under the Supremacy Clause, Clause 2, Article 6 in the Constitution. Okay. And any 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 section of code that's not in compliance with the Constitution is not law. You can also look up Marbury v. Madison, 1803. Right. And that has been challenged 854 times in the federal and Supreme Court. And it's never been it's never failed ever. Yeah, we've had we've had several we've had several instances here that the courts have said, yes, that's fine. That's how the Office of Administration said. That's why they set up the permit. Right. Like I said, we've had over 300 people protesting over here on the other lawn. Yeah. And I walked over there and said, because you have the right. You're not obstructing anything. You're not bothering anybody that I know of. That's why I'm here. So I want you guys to know that we're not any trouble. No. And we're not here to to be the overlords and the the evildoers that that law enforcement oftentimes gets like, oh, the. Roger Roots. Matt. Penny. I got my justice for Ken. Oh, mine. She gave me a pair, too. Oh, she's got the purple pumas on, huh? My great, my son had a pair of red pumas. I'm going to speak on my behalf. Okay. No, you're not. Shut it. Yeah, if you're going to fly that for sure. I did not do it. This is about the only time I'll get to shovel that. I know it. What is this? All I said was. Oh, yeah. I didn't hear it. Oh. Oh, I was wondering what that noise was. I was I was I was wondering what that all right, so I might, uh, if somebody, oh, he's got a light thing here. Can you live stream? Um, 